Yes, most of the time. It's uh, just someone, but we are. Or sometimes it's two men, and sometimes interviewing. They a could woman. be a couple too. And that it's imp it's important here in Germany. They have something called the Frauenquote, which is would be that they. She's my rate. she's my Frauenquote. And uh, it's important exactly. We have to have presence and everything. So in practice. Okay, here we go. We are in the game. Turkey is in ball possession, going forward really forcefully, and you see they will not take prisoners in this game. They are really into it. Here we go for the first time to the goal. But they don't succeed. There was a very well executed uh, attack, but it didn't work out. And uh, Barcelona even uh, got hold of the ball. Maybe that was a surprise for the Turkish players I mean because their, their attack was so forceful into it. And they wanted to make a point here in scoring right from the beginning, but didn't succeed. And now they go into the second attack. Uh, only 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, here we are. Yeah. I think that's what so they wanted to do from seconds, the beginning. Yes, Blue I mean scored the number the 10. Blue number scored 10. number 10. Uh, let's Blau see. Now I will hear your number Turkish. <laughs> I'm looking really forward surprised. to that. Hakan Tugar. Hakan, yeah. We know him. So Lila will be happy to see him scoring there in this game. <laughs> 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 that was Lali standing in front of our monkey box and she <laughs> celebrated. I <laughs> got her right in time. <laughs> now really that nice. was a great attack, you know, coming from the open side. They had the back of the goalie and it just, you know, took a second and the ball was inside. So let's see, because the second game from the Barcelona guys, I mean, they already had a, a hard game against Flipper earlier today. This is yep. a few hours ago. This was today. Oh, this is uh, this is uh, going to be uh, seven o'clock. Uh, but it's not that easy for them to score, even if they go in with that much force. Ah, oh, that was already in. Okay, it was so fast. I didn't see it here in the cameras. Number two. But that's Denizan what I. Denizan Igdir. Denizan Igdir. Congratulations. I'm quite sure uh, Levin Kavas is, uh, is, is watching is now yeah, is <laughs> and celebrating. Jumping, jumping Are you dancing, Levin? <laughs> 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 very nice, very nice game uh, from Ege here. They go in with uh, no fooling around, um, and it's it's very a direct game they play. They very play very straightforward on the water rugby here. And now we see uh, Barcelona first time in front of the basket from Ege and they try to come out from the corner on the close side but they wait, take their time and there's a call from the referee, didn't see it, something happened in the corner let's hear what the referee oh, oh. is they are holding Number three, okay, warning, uh, holding the basket, free throw, white. Okay, Turkish players are warned holding the basket. Mm, I don't have a number three here. What? Okay. So uh, Spain is still in, uh, in attack. No, here we are. Uh, Ege recovered the ball from the Spanish. And uh, they tried to stop them by four checking, but didn't succeed because Ege is really going in with force again. It's a very uh, physical game. Um, if we compare to the game that just saw uh, yeah. with uh, the Orcas, but yeah. but it's, it's fair. I mean, it's just has a lot of speed in it, and um, you just can feel the water c c boiling almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they there's so much energy. Yeah, in there, and and Ege doesn't seem to push through the water. They, the water is going away in front of them. <laughs> it's like making room for them when they swim through the pool. Quite impressive. So it will be but impressive to see them play against uh, uh, a more uh, uh, stronger opponent. But here we have uh, um, them attacking again the basket, and it's not that instant as they s uh, success in scoring against uh, Barcelona and that's we saw that in the in the game before against yes, Flipper they, they're having really good a defense lot and they're really uh, putting up uh, uh, you know the fight with everything they they, they have and oh no, that's no a goalkeeper on the basket they were fighting uh, on the close side and the Turkish player was snatching away the ball and pushing it on the in the empty basket that's always a, a, p a pity. Like I said, you feel better if you fight for a goal. 
uh, and if it's not in the open basket, uh, open empty basket. Okay, we see a strong team here. We see a strong team from Ege with a 3-0 after close to five minutes in the first half of this last game here, Champions Cup 2017 in Berlin. And it's the 29th Champions Cup in Ege is again in attacking mode and coming in. And then they don't take detours if they go for the basket. They go straightward for it. And uh, as we can see already, a player waiting at the basket. And again, no detour. It's just like well, that was a one great pass. job from the, the, the Spanish defense because yeah. the, the attacker was underneath the defender and underneath the goalie and, and pushing with everything he had. But uh, the defense really... Uh, could avoid uh, the score from happening and, and that was a really st strong attack so I mean uh, Barcelona is doing a, a great job I yes. mean, we can see yes. the, the condition oh that's a pity when you try to do a pass like that but it, and if you lose if you lose uh, uh, in, the, in the counter with a pass like that it's just sad because it, you lose put so much energy in, in fighting for the ball and recover it and go for a counter attack and then lose it in that easy yeah. way because you need the time to recover a little bit. I mean, to have ball control so you can go to the other side and, and keep a little bit your pace so you can recover from, from this defense. But it's, it's not yet. effortless. Again and again, like uh, with Flipper, uh, Spain does a good job defending it's the basket. It's amazing how, yeah. how much they um, improve in the last yeah, years. And definitely. And that's the ball. Oh, he didn't that's see Hakan it. again, I think. But it's it's uh, they they uh, they don't give any presence to the Turkish team. The Spain Spanish are uh, really oh, holding the on and to and everything the they have. Holding his partner down. <laughs> oh, the ball! Oh, no one is seeing the ball. Oh, that's God. Never seen oh. this in a hey, high-score game like that. The ball was falling down, and uh, on Free the back stroke. of one player. And on the back of a, of a Turkish player, yeah, yeah and nobody realized it was a ball. And the Turkish player was holding without the ball, so now it's a free throw from Barcelona. So let's see, hopefully the guys can keep the ball control a bit longer to give them a little bit of a rest and recover because defending is a killer a constant defending is a killer and then you start breaking down Al also your moral and your motivation you know eventually it's getting harder and harder so at least if they can be stay in the close corner and pass the ball and, and try to at achieve and break. these these egg players are really massive if you see them lying around in front of the basket it's like a, a wall building up in front of the the basket i'm looking forward for the for the games oh, uh, against a, a heavier opponent. Oh, that was a pass behind the back, right in the arms of a Spanish player, and he tries to go forward, but is stopped by a wall. Well, look, all of five Ege. player yeah, yeah, yeah. And Here we go. That is a fast counter attack, and it's ooh, oh, very well defended. That uh, was uh, a pity from well, the that's great from Turkish the defender player. of the Barcelona team. He, he thought really he, he was safe. He uh, to get out of there, yeah. Very well done by Spain. I have to say it again and again. The so defense really this doing a great job. I mean, they, yeah. they attack. They need to improve. You can see they don't, they don't have a lot of a structure. I mean, and they're. It's amazing that they have such a discipline to to defend, and then when they're attacking, they lose the ball yeah. so fast. I mean, truly. Really so yeah, impressive um, thing they do in here. Uh, here we go. That's another oh, it score. Has taken, it has taken yeah. a lot longer it's to not, score. It's not easy for Ege to score here. Even though um, they look um, in a pure weight, uh, they look heavier than uh, the Spanish players. But the defense is really, really good. But nevertheless, it's a 4-0 for Ege in this first half, and we're counting down the last minute in Champions Cup 2017. My name is Wolf, and I have Lorena with me, and it's the last game of the day, and we're getting a little bit tired, and we have to get out, uh, get up early tomorrow to commentate the first games at 8. Spain is in ball possession, and he waited, so the Spanish player waited too long, looking for a player to pass to, and lost the ball to an Ege player, and now Ege is going one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-two, on the basket of the Spanish and again last second 
the ball is snatched away from the Turkish player and recovered and uh, Spain is trying to get away with the ball and they're in, uh, going for the half away from their own basket they do a good job lost the ball ball outside um, the area and it's a free throw against Spain we're real done and the first half is over here in this last game and it's the first game of Ege of the day and we see them playing and uh, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward for tomorrow can we it's like it's like a little bit like in Christmas Lorena can I can I open the Christmas uh, presents already and can I watch the games for tomorrow please please <laughs> no really amazing really um, great level it's amazing how I mean every year the teams are getting better and better and uh, at least if maybe the the technique or the tactic is not up to the opponent but you can tell that their um, condition is good sorry i'm about to sneeze oh no no don't sneeze cover your ears <laughs> okay yeah we were getting crazy here in, the, in our uh, class monkey box it feels like an aquarium we are at the entrance of the of the pool area and all people are walking in our backs and making jokes in our backs I guess um, but it's great it's uh, it's the best studio we have so far I think it feels really great and it feels like uh, we were participating in the people getting in and out so it gives you more feeling than sitting in a bunker uh, in the back where you don't have contact with the players it's a little yeah. bit isolated so it's much better here I prefer it don't you dear Lorena yes. Yes, 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 yes. Can you say yes, please, more often? Try, please. Okay. It's not good for a girl to say yes too many times. <laughs> I think our technician Jens wouldn't uh, will agree with me. It's quite good to say yes more often. So, getting crazy here in our so monkey box. Last. Eight o'clock. I mean, this is one minute. Then we have ten more minutes to see Ege and Barcelona, the maids, and this is the end of the transmission for this evening. For no, the no. At 8 o'clock we start. Who is playing tomorrow at 8 o'clock? Vienna and Izmir, I mean the women. Women's team. And then we have Zurich against Polizen and Perth Riders and Orcas and it just gets better and better. Better and better, better and better, better and better. I'm so I'm so excited for tomorrow and uh, especially for Sunday because I see some uh, some given natural orders getting broken up here in this Champions Cup. Something will happen, something great will happen. Or like uh, uh, 2001 Hell says, Dave, I see something great happening. And I feel the same. I feel like Dave in 2001. It's a great feeling. This is, this is the fourth year, right? We do it. Yeah. Yes. So, two seconds left. No seconds left. We will be in the game. Here we go. And uh, this is happening. Okay. This is the last half. And uh, Ege in blue and uh, Barcelona in white, Spain against Turkey. And it's a 4-0 lead for Ege. And Ege is going in quite strong again into the basket. Pass and on the open side, side, on the close side. But again, Spain uh, recovers the ball and they, they are fast in the head. You see them moving quite fast. And it's not, they are, they are uh, not superior in the physical way, but they seem to have really good eyes watching what's happening there around the basket and keeping the cool and go in between and snatching away the ball. It's quite impressive thing they do. But nevertheless, you see these guys from Ege, they are just pure power putting in the water and they're pushing really hard now on the close side against the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper had to get up in the change and it was just the moment the egg player blue, waited for. Number eight. Gold for blue, number eight. Ah. Very good, so it's a 5-0 lead for Ege and uh, okay, I don't see a chance for okay. Barcelona to score here sure. and uh, even well, though we have eight, eight minutes, nine minutes left, they could probably it's score in good luck. But we saw some quite good attacks from them too. Kannst du mal gucken, wer jetzt zur Mannschaft gehört und wer nicht? Und alle anderen sollen weg. Da sind acht Leute. 
Okay, the Birgit Lütke, the head of referee of the Champions Cup, was complaining there's too many people around uh, the changing area. I don't know if they, uh, if she talked about uh, Barcelona or Ege. So now Spain is attacking, but uh, the Spanish player with the ball is lost. And now and again the ball fell down. It was just kicked back and forth from uh, the from the players, and players uh, from Ege recovered it, and they go now back to the Spanish basket and the Spanish defense is in place. Impressive uh, work from the Spanish defense. Definitely uh, they are doing a good job and they can be proud of their game. Even if you look at the score if a 5-0 lead from Ege, nevertheless um, Barcelona can be proud um, because Ege cannot do everything they want in front of the Spanish basket. And again, an uh, attack from the closed side, and they try to push through, and there's an open side. Uh, play waiting, he receives the ball, and he pushed against the head with the ball, but he didn't succeed, and goes out, passes to another one, but he's tackled uh, by a Spanish player, and the ball is free in front of the basket, recovered by a Turkish player, and another one pass on, and he's going right in front, passing to the open side, but there the player is tackled away from the basket. Now they pull away. The goalkeeper was there. He's exchanging. And again, back to zero. We have uh, Spanish Spanish team defending the basket. And they get trying to attack from the close side. Now they go in again. And that, was, that was a little bit pushing without ball from the open side from how far I could see. But nothing happened. So it was not a call. And uh, Spain is in ball possession. Sorry, I'm No, that was sorry. It, it didn't miss. Uh, miss see it. That time was. That was Ege scoring timeout from Barcelona. We have a Which six. Number? number twenty-three. Number twenty-three. Now we can share uh, Lorena's Turkish Time again. Timeout, white. Player Abiet. twenty-three and Lorena, tell us, will us tell us his name? Yegit Ulutas. Thank you very much, Lorena. You're welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm silent because I'm calculating now the points for the group to see who is getting first oh, or second. Lorena's calculating. Please don't disturb her. <laughs> she becomes a dragon if she's uh, disturbed by calculating. Have you seen what number scored? People will think I'm not 23? a sweet, nice lady. You are a sweet, nice lady. Everybody loves you. Even I love you. Even I. Hi. We are smiling in the uh, smiling and looking in the camera. We we really have a smiley there. My brain is is, is slowly but surely um, fried. Yeah. Fried chicken. Say goodbye to me. Chicken sensei. We have uh, 206 players uh, watching. Probably even the players from Turkey uh, left the channel because they think, well, that's a dumb thing. Nevertheless, impressive to see Ege playing. And uh, I would love to see Ege playing, for example, against uh, Riksu. That would be a really nice combination of a game. Two upstarting teams uh, fighting with different styles. Here we go. Barcelona is trying to push through the forward-checking defense of Ege. And uh, they... Oh, very well succeeded until the two meter line call from the referee while uh, Ege was trying to do a counter attack. Crip to the mask, uh, equipment crip, free throw uh, against Ege, and uh, one Spanish player tries to steal away the basket, but he only stole away the defense position, which it doesn't look like it disturbs Ege that much. So Spain tries to go in, uh, but the first player loses his hold of the ball. And here we have a Spanish player coming from the close side into the basket area. And uh, this exchange of the goalkeepers was really under pressure. What we saw here, very well done by Spain. That could have been a chance, a chance to push the ball inside the change of the goalkeepers. But here we go again. Ege is going for a counter-attack into the area of the Spanish basket and the Spanish basket is surrounded by Ege players but again what we saw in all the other attacks they don't succeed in the first wave not always um, 
for example, like uh, the Orcas did uh, in the game before, which was another game and uh, another opponent, I totally agree. But the, the finish we see here is not that spotless and that's due to the work of the Spanish defense. And even now, did you see that one? Uh, we saw the attack and that there was a close goal with an attack pushing up the head. But uh, what we saw in the next second, the Spanish player swimming away with the ball. And that's very good uh, defense work from uh, the Spanish team. And another attack on the basket by Ege going from the close side. There's uh, one player waiting on the open side, receives the ball. And he's trying to push again. Doesn't succeed. Tries to go out again. And the ball is free and another Ege player recovers it. Comes in from the close side, close to the basket. And now we have a player trying to steal away the basket. He was pushing against the wall a little bit, which is not allowed in that way. Um, but still Ege is holding on to the ball. The ball is free and now we have an attack. That should be in, yes. And uh, that was due to the fact the goalkeeper was already a little bit up and had a gap for the Ege player pushing with his head and then pushing up. Very well done, very well executed. Okay, according to Levent, my Turkish pronunciation is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Doesn't, doesn't even uh, have a marriage that I'm trying. How charming. <laughs> I still love him, no problem. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's with, with men with yes, a lot of heart. Camilo, Camilo is playing for the Barcelona team. Yes, Camilo is in the Barcelona team. <laughs> he was in the academy and we talked uh, this morning and he's playing uh, with Barcelona. So again, uh, Ege goes in on the basket and they come in massive as we see and they push hard but the defense, wow, very good thing Spain is doing here. If they could put the same uh, amount of energy in the offense, look at that, again the ball lost by Ege and recovered from uh, Spain and now go, they go in the counter attack and it happened so fast. They were, the, the, the Spanish players are really fast in the head, how they switch from the situation, they are under heavy attack by these Ege players, they switch into attack. But there was a call from the referee, didn't see what happened, but it's a free throw against Spain and that's uh, going to be dangerous for them. We have two minutes, a little bit more than two minutes left, and it's a 0-7 against Ege, which is uh, something Spain can be again proud of, and a clear victory for Ege right here. Thank you to covers for all uh, living, for all your work you do in CMS for us, so uh, it's likewise uh, we like to do everything we can to push on the, work brief, on the work brief further on like you do. I think we're on the same boat here. Thank you too. So again, Ege trying to score and they uh, executed quite perfectly the way they uh, pass back and forth over the goal. But the, the last finishing line is, is, is a lot of times prevented by the good defending work of Spain. Compliment to them. But I wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't like to be in the in the in the place of Spain because what Ege puts in the water here is uh, very good on the water rugby. It's spotlessly executed, um, and sometimes is uh, just interrupted by the very good defending of Spain. And I would like to see Ege against one of these uh, other games. And here again we have the situation we saw a lot of times. Uh, Ege pushes and pushes and pushes and even then Spanish players succeed in breaking free with the ball. Most of the times it don't help them because Ege recovers it and go back with a lot of push and force. But nevertheless, it's a great work. Yes, I really agree with you. And yeah, and I agree with uh, Levent. Uh, he's congratulating both teams. Yes, Absolutely, this is uh, definitely the game of uh, Ege. They dominate the game, but it's a great work from Spain here. They, you don't see them giving up, not at all. Um, they, if, if you ask them, would you play on for another half an hour, I think they would say, si, sí, vamos. There uh, would be no hesitating here. Very well, here again, they succeed in getting away the ball. Uh, it's incredible because the grip of these Ege players must be really tough. They hold on to the ball, but nevertheless, the Spanish players have the right movement to, to break free and to do some meters before it's over. And it's over now, it's a 7-0 seven zero play seven of the last game here today. Uh, Champions Cup 2017. And 
so far. I mean, we had a lot of games today. We have 16 games, and the group A from the females uh, is already through with all the games they're supposed to be. In. Uh, Orcas, Barcelona, and Perth Raiders had all of the games. And the first of the group is Orcas with uh, six points, Barcelona is second with four, and the Perth Riders is um, third with two points. So that's the only group that has been completely uh, defined, and the rest is still is going on tomorrow. And then... Um, Have a nice evening too, Levent. Uh, it's, it's very quite late in uh, Turkey. Uh, have a good night, and uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow in the live chat. Um, this is uh, the last uh, game, and this tomorrow was we the last start game. at it was the last game, and uh, tomorrow we start at eight o'clock in the morning. So put your alarm clocks on time, have your coffee uh, ready, and at we will wake you up. We start with uh, Izmir against Vienna. So eleven, you're going to be also the first one in the morning to. Uh, <laughs> he went already he asleep, I think. Company. <laughs> I think he went already and asleep. And for tomorrow morning, you will be impressed with the perfection of my um, Turkish. Turkish. I will put uh, a Turkish uh, a sound, you know. In, in no, you, you have I to will put sleep all night uh, with Turkish. You, you to have Turkish to put a Turkish book under your pillow. No, that doesn't work. I tried when I was already like. Really? 12. It's not working? No, it's not. I always did it that way. My Spanish is spotless now because I do this every night. Vamos, muchachos. No, 